interview is for one, two minutes. It's a reading. So for today's video, it is all about the troubleshooting of our GPS or the Global Positioning System. We are underway to Asia when we have this loss of position alarm. So come and join me in this troubleshooting video. So I was called to check our onboard DGPS. And upon checking, we're having this alarm 212, which is the loss of position. So the first thing I did is to navigate the unit and do a self test in order for us to do that you just need to click the menu and then go to the maintenance and go to the self test and choose the automatic test this will do the self test on the unit itself it will check the rom ram and the lan connection Since the self-test is showing a good result on the unit, then I assume that there is something wrong with the antenna. It is so windy outside so I decided to make the voiceover. So I have decided to dismantle the antenna and see what is happening in there. Until I found out that the cable is in poor condition and it is already cut in between. And so I put it into my workshop and see if I can still fix the cable. After opening the antenna and then voila, there is also water inside. With this, I'm planning to dismantle the whole thing and put it in the dryer room. I am hoping that once this gets dry, it will still work. We just need to remove these four screws to dismantle the antenna unit. Do not forget to put a markings on the orientation of the antenna itself as it needs to be facing forward during reinstallation. So I put the antenna into the drying room overnight to dry the whole thing. So this is now the antenna and we will reinstall it back. To lessen the signal loss, I prefer to solder the cable and use shrinkable tube to insulate it properly.
After reconnecting the wires, I put sealant on the cover. This is now ready to reinstall. So I went back to the Monkey Island to reinstall the antenna. As a safety reminder, please use proper PPE and make permit to work before working aloft. So now we were able to put back the GPS antenna so it's time for us to switch on the GPS and I hope it will work. It's okay, okay. It took time for initializing. So we have two GPS on board and one of them should be connected to the ECDIS. ECDIS stands for Electronic Chart Display and Information System. Modern ships now are equipped with this ECDIS. It has become easier for the ship's navigating crew to pinpoint locations and attain direction through the use of this ECDIS. Through this, you can see the real-time location of the vessel wherever in the world. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more ETO updates. Thank you.